Uh, I'm a dentist and my life is hectic and busy with two young children, a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old. It's so crazy, you know, school runs, rushing to work, 30, 40 patients a day on the NHS. And sometimes when you're running a business or several businesses like myself, you've got a moving train. And the problem with being on a moving train is if, if, if you want to fix it, you have to get off and fix it while it's still moving. And it's virtually impossible. I would say I spent about 90% of my life focused on work and my patients and really trying to um, instill confidence and give back my patients function and aesthetic and improve their quality of life. It was the one thing that gave me true joy, meaning and happiness in 90% of my week. In the other part of the week, I'd be desperately trying to squeeze in family, friends, social life, exercise, and would often find myself wanting and probably always really exhausted, constantly tired. With the pandemic hitting, I feel like an emergency break was put on. I think pre-lockdown I was very absorbed or engrossed in trying to achieve as a dentist and become the best dentist I could be, do the, all the courses I could and buy a dental practice and then I wanted to buy more. Um, and although those dreams and goals are excellent and people should have them and there should be something that you strive towards, I, during lockdown, learned to slow down. Covid has made me think about mortality and we're not going to live forever, I'm not going to live forever and what actually does live forever is the non-materialistic things you acquire in your life. Our lives were very disposable prior to this and we had freedom and, and it's really interesting to see what happens when we don't have that. The reason why I didn't realise that I had it before is because I just kept on going and I just ignore my feelings, I wouldn't listen to my body and understand why I was getting that anxiety. Those who know me um, know that I am just non-stop, I'm always on the go, I'm always working, I'm always studying and had a, you know, a budding social life. My days were packed to bursting, I felt like I had to fill every slot in my Google calendar doing something, I was scared of missing out on opportunities um, and so I really didn't have any time to pause and reflect. Coming from Scotland to London, people running and scrambling over each other to get on the tube, everyone racing to get to the top of the ladder, people forgetting to smile when they walk by you, and then pandemic hit and it's caused destruction in so many people's lives. People are suffering, uh, sadly, from so much grief. It's caused concern and worry, but it ultimately has taught people to slow down.